What's up, it's your boy K-Max, and I'm about to tell you what it do with the new 2010 Suzuki Kazashi. These babies are only about eight months old, and let's see what's going on inside. Check it out. All right, first off, we're running on some 18 inch rims right here. We've got the chrome package, you know. We got the side marker lamps right here. You know, that's for that sporty look. You know, when it's blinking, it comes off on the side right here. You know, that's how we're doing it. We got the four disc brakes on the car for that speedy stop. We also are working with keyless entry. That means one push of a button on the door with the smart pass key. Bam, it's locked. It's open. So we don't have to have our key and there's no hole. Well, there is a hole, but this one doesn't have it, but you can always break it down just in case it runs out of batteries. So there is a key. Check it out. You got the daytime running headlamps. Right there. I'm quite sure that once the packages start getting upgraded, you know, we will find some fog lights on there, but this one doesn't have them yet. All right, so far, the Suzuki is looking real good, but you know what time it is. It's time for, let's see what's good in the hood. So let's access our hood latch, which is located right up underneath here. One pull of a button right there, that's always good. Plus we got our rear trunk latch, just in case we want to access the trunk, you know, from inside the car. So okay, right here in the Suzuki, we're rolling with a 2.4 liter, four cylinder, dual overhead cam engine with 185 horsepower at 6,000 RPM. Now check it out, this thing has 170 foot of torque at 4,000 RPM. That means we're gonna pick up some speed when we get that torque up. You know what I'm saying? This car is fast, but I think it gets faster as it goes into its uh, more higher speeds because it does have a six speed manual transmission in it. And that's hot. So we can keep it a little sporty and fast for you. Suzuki, baby. It also comes with a zero maintenance, self-adjusting time belt. That is really big because changing your timing belt in the car can get really expensive. And since this one adjusts itself as you go along through the years with your car, then that means that it's really getting its maximum performance. So we gotta love that feature. It's got sport tuned electronic power steering with rack and pinion. Like I said, we got the four disc ventilated brakes. It also comes with nice chrome tips on the dual exhaust. Dual exhaust is always nice when you, you know, when you got a lot of horsepower, it makes it seem so. For a small car, the Suzuki has a big gas tank. It's got a 16.6 gallon tank. So other cars of this nature with four cylinder engines have much smaller tanks. So that means we're gonna stay away from the station. Gas, that is. We got rear independent multi-link suspension with McPherson struts. People always say, what are struts? It's the things that go on top of the shocks and they keep the car stabilized and running smooth. Shocks are for vibration and up and down and the struts are for stabilization. So there it is, the Suzuki 2010 Kazashi. And that's what it do. And I'll see you next time with the next whip.